Welcome to Yoga with Erica. Thank you so much for joining. Today's class is going to be a really nice stretch. We're not going to do anything super intense, super crazy. We're just going to really stretch out our entire body, focusing a lot on the back and the backs of the legs. Now, I do have some props with me today. I have this nice blanket, which is really easy to grab around your house. Um, just a blanket, you fold it up. And then I also have a block. Um, it's just for assisting purposes. So you could use a book, something that will just bring the ground a little bit closer to you. And if you don't have any of those things, totally fine. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. I'm actually going to take uh, my blanket and start by sitting on the blanket. I'm going to start in a nice cross-legged position. So if that feels comfortable to you, then go ahead and take that pose. If cross-legged is not comfortable, you can sit however feels best for you. But the purpose of the block or the blanket is to just lift your hips up a little bit higher than your knees and your feet. It just makes this pose a little bit comfier. So let's go ahead and roll our shoulders up, back, and down. And then we are going to take one hand on our heart and take the other hand on your belly. Let's take the thumb and put it right on the belly button. Now, just go ahead and close your eyes here. We'll start with some nice simple breathing so go ahead and take a nice deep inhale feeling that hand on your belly start to just move outward and as you exhale feel that hand on your belly gently fall and maybe the hand on the heart gently falls just slightly as well okay again we'll inhale through the nose filling up the belly Filling up the lungs and exhale, let it go. Make sure that your breaths are coming in through your belly. Your shoulders are staying just where they are. And exhale, let it go. Continue to focus on those nice big inhales. Seeing if you can maybe bring in just a little bit more air each time. And exhale, let it go. Feel your sits bones rooting down into your mat. And then feel the crown of your head pulling up towards the ceiling. So we're sitting up nice and tall. We're supporting ourselves here. And then let it all go. Good. Let's go ahead and take one final round of inhale. This should be your biggest breath in, the biggest breath you've taken all day. And then just hold it at the top for five, four, three, two, one. Let it all go as you exhale. Good. Gently, let's bring those hands down onto our knees. Let's take the palms face up towards the ceiling. You can keep those eyes closed. Go ahead just drop your chin to your chest and then gently we'll roll right ear towards right shoulder good just letting the weight of our head gently open up the neck if you want to make this a little bit more intense you can take that right hand place it right over top of the left ear and then just gently let that hand guide the head down a little bit further we're not pulling on the head at all. We're just using that hand for a little bit more uh, support, just a little bit more of a stretch. Good, make sure that the left shoulder is just totally dropped down the body. Good. Take another breath in. And exhale, release. Let's roll the chin back to the chest. And then go ahead and take left ear to the left shoulder. Again, just a nice gentle stretch, letting both shoulders completely drop down the body. Again, if you wanna make that stretch a little bit more intense, you can take that left hand, place it on top of the right ear, and then not pulling, 
just gently guiding the head a little bit further. Beautiful. Breathing here. Make sure you're still taking those deep belly breaths. So inhaling, feeling the belly button reach out and exhale, let it go. Don't worry what you look like. Really let that belly fill up. And exhale, let it go. Good, slowly release the hand if it's on top of the ear. And then we'll gently roll the chin back to the chest. Now go ahead and take both hands. We're gonna interlace the fingers and then place those fingers right on the base of the neck. Go ahead and pull the elbows together. Make sure the chin is still tucked to the chest. And then this time, let the weight of the elbows gently open up the back of the neck. Make sure that your upper body is still nice and tall, that spine is nice and straight. We're just gently opening the back of the neck here. Good. Breathing in and breathing out. In yoga, we let our breath really guide our movements. And even though we're staying very still here, we're still allowing the breath to gently open up the body. Good, go ahead and take another inhale. Exhale, release the hands from the back of the head and then slowly let the head float on up to center, good. Now we're gonna do one more. Take those hands, we're gonna interlace them and place them right underneath of the chin. We're gonna start with our elbows squeezing together. Let's exhale, let go of all of your breath. As you inhale, we're gonna lift the elbows gently, let the head look up, and exhale, bring the elbows back together, letting the head come to neutral. Again, inhale, lift, open the elbows, opening the throat. Exhale, coming back to center, good. Inhale. Good, now, don't do what I did. I just moved my shoulders a whole lot. Our upper body is staying super still. We're just really isolating with the elbows to open the throat. And exhale, let it come back to center. Good, tipping the chin up to the ceiling. Big breath in, exhale, let it We'll take three more. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. Last two. And the last one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, let it go. Good. Hands come down. Let's slowly just go ahead and roll the shoulders up, back, and down once more. Take a breath in. Exhale, let it go. And then gently, we're going to the eyes open. And we'll go ahead and remove the uh, blanket from underneath of you if you're sitting on one. And let's go ahead and come to all fours. So go ahead and take the hands right underneath of the shoulders. Take those knees right underneath of the hips. Let the feet be nice and flat. Tops of the feet are touching the mat, good. Let those fingers spread wide. We're gonna take an inhale as we drop the belly, look up towards the ceiling, open up through those collarbones, lift the heart, and exhale, round the spine. Let the gaze look towards the belly button, good. Pull up at the point in between the shoulder blades. Inhale, drop the belly, looking up. And exhale, round the spine, good. Inhale, cow pose, looking up. 
and exhale, cat, round the spine, good. Again, go ahead and let the breath really guide your movement here, good. Just isolating through the spine, really beginning to move and warm it up here, good. Oh, this feels so nice, <laughs> continue to breathe. And go ahead and take one more round wherever you are. And when you're finished, we will meet in a nice neutral spine. Good. So when you're ready, spine comes flat, pull the belly button towards the base of the spine. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. And then let's go ahead and push back so heels are hips are coming to the heels let's take those knees a little bit wider we're going to move into a wide legged child's pose so reach those arms out nice and long and then just go ahead and rest the forehead down on the mat close the eyes and breathe here good let the body just fall down towards the mat we want to imagine like our entire body is melting so our heart is melting to the floor. Our hips are melting back to the heels. And then our forehead is just softening into the mat. Go ahead and take a nice breath in, feeling the rib cage expand. And exhale, let it go. Good, take another inhale. And exhale, let it go. Now, a modification for this, you can always take your blanket and place it in between your heels and your hips so that your hips are a, a little bit more supported if that feels okay for you. Wherever you are, we're just going to take three more rounds of breath here, inhaling, exhale, melting down, just feeling the support of the mat, inhaling. Exhale, let it go. Last one, inhale. And exhale, let it go. Good. Now we're slowly going to move into puppy pose, which looks very similar to this child's pose. All we're going to do is lift those hips and then gently melt the heart down towards the mat. You can walk those hands out a little bit further. I'm going to remove this blanket. Good. Now this is really stretching the heart here. Now if your heart is a little bit further away from the mat, that is okay. We're just getting that nice stretch through the chest. Beautiful. Really breathe into this here. Allow the chin to rest down on the mat. Or if your chin is having trouble reaching the mat, you can always take a block or your book and rest your forehead down, just continuing to let the heart melt down to the mat. Beautiful. Keep breathing in and breathe out. Last one. Inhale and exhale. Let it go. Good. Now slowly, let's go ahead and walk ourselves back up to all fours. You can gently move those hips from side to side. I know that puppy pose is a huge opening of the chest. Good. You might feel a little bit weird here. Just go ahead and move around a little bit. Just noticing how the body is feeling. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and get into those shoulders just a little bit. So go ahead and make sure that uh, those hands are back under those shoulders and then take the right fingers. We're gonna reach them all the way up towards the ceiling. Open the heart, take a breath in. As you exhale, thread that arm through so that the back of the right shoulder comes down onto the mat. The left hand can either stay right here to support you or you can walk those fingers out towards the front of your mat or take that left hand behind your lower back. Good, whatever feels best for you here, just go ahead and breathe into that shoulder. Now keep those hips up nice and high here. 
just close the eyes. Remember this class is just a super deep stretch. We're really just opening up through all parts of the body. So there's no pressure, especially if you're doing this at home. Don't worry, I can't see you. No one else can really see you, I'm sure. So just try not to focus on what you look like so much. Instead, focusing on how you feel. Focusing on the transformation that's happening on the inside, right? Our body is beginning to calm down. Our mind should begin to calm as well. Let's take another breath in. And as you exhale, go ahead and place that left hand back down onto the mat. Press into that left hand. We'll reach those fingers up to the right for a little counter twist. Stretch them up towards the ceiling. And then go ahead and place both hands back down on the mat. All right, let's go ahead and move to the other side. And so take those left fingers, reach them up towards the ceiling, opening that heart, opening the chest. Take a big breath in, reach those fingers up just a little bit higher. Exhale, thread the arm through, shoulder comes down, cheek comes down, close the eyes and breathe here. Again, that right hand can stay right here to support you. Those fingers can walk out towards the front of the room or you can take that right hand around the lower back. Now, if you really wanna get deeper into that twist, that hand behind your back can sort of snake into the crease where the thigh and the hip meet. And you can keep the hand just in that little crease there. Good. Now, wherever your hand is, your opposite hand, it doesn't really matter. Just as long as this pose feels comfortable to you. Opening up through the back of the shoulder. And again, remember, we're not really focusing so much on what's happening on the outside, but again, turning to the inside. So if that means closing your eyes, just focusing on your breath, allowing all the extra chatter that's happening in your mind, all those thoughts you have throughout the day, just Allow them to be quiet for a moment. Just let the thoughts be focused on the breath. Those nice inhales and those full and complete exhales. Good. Take another breath in, another breath out. On your next inhale, go ahead and place that right hand back down onto the mat. Press into that hand, lift those left fingers up towards the ceiling. Nice counter twist, inhale, exhale. Place both hands back down on the mat, beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and walk those hands out a little bit further in front of us. And we're actually gonna move all the way down onto our bellies. However you get there is fine. If you flop down, that's okay. Let's go ahead and move the elbows right underneath of the shoulders. So we're coming into Sphinx Pose. Take those legs and squeeze them together. Place the tops of the feet onto the mat. Press those toenails down into the mat. Now go ahead, spread those fingers nice and wide. Press into those hands and then we're going to lift the heart. The gaze is just gently looking forward. No need to crank the neck and look up. Just gently looking forward. Now, roll those shoulders like we did at the beginning of class, up, back, and down. We want to do the same movement here. So those shoulders are really engaged. The collarbones are expanding here, opening through the heart. And the back, the lower back, should be just gently activated. Good. Those glutes are gently engaged as well. Take a breath in and a breath out. Good, another breath in and a breath out. Now slowly let's go ahead and take our gaze to the right and then to the left, to the right and to the left. 
last time to the right, to the left. Head comes back to center and we will lower all the way down onto our bellies, good. Now, this time let's go ahead and take our fingers a little bit wider than our mat. We are only pressing our fingertips down. So imagine like uh, there's a little something underneath of your palm, your palm is lifted, just the fingertips are pressing down. Now, same thing, keep those legs super engaged, press the tops of the feet into the mat, press those fingertips down, and then gently lift the head, shoulders, maybe the belly slightly comes off the mat, and gently roll back down, letting the head be the last thing to come up. Inhale, lift from the top of the head first and then the chest and maybe the belly come up. Exhale, lower back down, good. Last three, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower back down. Last two. Good, so just the fingertips here, really making this a nice little spinal wave. Last one, exhale, gently roll back down. Go ahead and take those hands underneath of the shoulders once more. We're gonna press up to hands and knees and then push back into your child's pose, beautiful. Rest the forehead down, reach those arms out nice and long, take a breath in and a breath out, good. All right, now slowly, let's go ahead and rise up to all, uh, rise up to our knees, good. And gently, we're gonna come to uh, standing on our knees, so allow those knees to be right underneath of your hip bones. Now, let's go ahead and tuck the toes. So you wanna make sure that all of your toes are tucked underneath of you. Those pinky toes have a tendency to sort of get lost here. Make sure that the pinky toes are tucked as well. Now, all we're gonna do is have a seat on our heels, take those hands and place them on these thighs. Now, roll the shoulders up, back and down, good. Tuck that chin just slightly so you have a lot of length through the back of your neck. Now this is called the toe cracker. Uh, this is not my favorite move at all. This is a huge stretch for the back sides of the feet and for the toes. Now this might feel super, super painful, but I promise you it is only a stretch. And it's a stretch that we don't really do very often. We tend to carry a lot of tension in our feet. So just know that you are only stretching and you can make it through this. Go ahead and close your eyes and really focus on the breath here. Now in these difficult times in our life, our breath can help us so much. Our breath is a tool that we always have to calm ourselves down. But when things get really crazy or something's really painful, that tends to be the last thing that we think about. But I want you to concentrate here, taking those deep inhales, those full and complete exhales. We're here for three more breaths. Let it go. Last two. We're almost there, don't worry. Last one. Inhale, exhale, let it go. Good, slowly blink those eyes open. Let's come back onto our hands and knees. Go ahead and untuck those toes and then gently tap the tops of the feet on the mat. Whew. Yeah, that stretch is not fun, but again, it's just a stretch. And I promise you, the more you do it, the easier it will get. All right, so from all fours, let's go ahead and make our way into our downward facing dog. Go ahead and tuck those toes underneath of you. Press into your hands, lift the knees, lift the hips, and then gently press back into your downward facing dog. Now really push that mat away from you. This should feel like a big stretch. So uh, really use this move to your advantage here. 
So uh, go ahead and bend your knees a little bit, especially if you're feeling some tension in the low back. We want to melt the heart towards the thighs. We really want that belly button to be moving nice and close to those thigh bones. If you need to, you can go ahead and pedal those feet out, bending one knee and then bending the other. Make sure that the head is completely relaxed in between the hands. Go ahead and nod the head yes, or shake the head no. Okay. Take another inhale. Exhale, let it go. Good, gently bend the knees, gaze forward at the top of your mat, and with nice bent knees, just walk those feet all the way up to the hands, good. We're coming into a rag doll here. So again, if you need to take a little bend in your knees, go ahead and do that. Go ahead and grab onto opposite elbows, and then relax the head completely. Maybe you want to gently sway from side to side. Maybe you nod your head yes, or shake your head no. Good. Just opening up through the entire back of the body. Good, take another breath in. And a breath out. Good, all right. Slowly release those arms. And then we are going to heel toe the feet a little bit wider, coming to about max width distance. You're gonna take your heels in and your toes slightly out. I'm going to turn to face you. Good, so remember our feet are a little bit wider than our hips. And then all we're gonna do here is bend those knees. We're gonna come into our malasana or our yogi squat. Now, for some people, our hips might be up a little bit higher, and that's fine. You can always bring the ground a little bit closer to you by taking a block here. Maybe your hips are a little bit more open, so you begin to drop them down a little bit lower. Again, that block is here if you need it. Or maybe you want to bring your palms to heart center and use those elbows to gently open up your knees, feeling that nice big stretch through the hips and we're keeping the heart lifted, good. Now make sure that the spine is nice and tall. It's okay if your hips are not down super low. It's yoga practice, not yoga perfect. It all just takes a little bit of time. Let's go ahead and just close the eyes here. Take a breath in and a breath out. Beautiful, another breath in and another breath out. Last one, inhale, lifting the crown of the head just a little bit more. As you exhale, let's bring those hands behind us and we'll gently make our way back to a seated position on the mat, beautiful. All right, so we are going to take some seated stretches like I said, this is going to be just a really, really, really gentle, gentle class. Now, go ahead and make sure that you're right on your sits bones. Maybe that means moving a little bit of extra love from underneath of you. Take those feet out in front of you, squeeze those legs together and flex the toes. We want to imagine like we're pulling all of the energy up towards the center of our body. So that means the toes are flexing, those thigh muscles are pulling up. And if you need to take a little bend in your knees, then go ahead and do so. We're going to take an inhale as we lift those arms up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, go ahead and reach, reach, reach. Keep reaching nice and long. And then we'll go ahead and just relax over those legs. Just go ahead and drop your head down and relax your neck. Now, again, if you need to take a bend in your knees here, that's great. It's going to just relieve any tension from your lower back. If you have super um, long arms or, you know, your hamstrings are really open, you can take your block and place it behind your feet so that you have a little extra something to grab onto. Then go ahead and just relax your head. We will be holding here for a few breaths. Remembering 
that we are using our breath to quiet our mind. So just really think about those inhales and exhales. Inhale, exhale, let it go. Last breath in. And exhale, let it go. If you have the block, let go of it and gently roll your way all the way back to center. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and open those legs nice and wide. So feet are coming out nice and long. Beautiful. Again, we're going to flex those toes and pull those thigh muscles up. Now take your hands behind you. We're just gonna gently lift those hips and then bring them back down. Yes, we are getting a little bit deeper into the stretch that way. Now, let's reach those arms out nice and long. Beautiful. We're gonna reach, 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 reach for the right foot and then gently, when you can't reach anymore, keep that same lift in the upper body. And then let's bring the left arm over top of the ear the right elbow can come down and let's let the gaze look up. Now, we don't want to collapse over here. We want to keep that nice lift through the upper body. Gaze is up, breathe in and out. We want to think more about lengthening through the body than how close we can get to the leg. Good. Beautiful. Last inhale. And then slowly go ahead and face your leg and we're just going to round over the right leg. Beautiful. Keeping those toes up towards the ceiling. We don't want those knees to collapse in at all. And really important, make sure that both hips are staying down on the mat. Good. And then gently we'll just walk ourselves all the way back up to center and we'll take it to the other side. So again, we're gonna reach, 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 reach that left arm, keep that length through the upper body, just bring the elbow down, take the right arm above the ear. Now lift that heart up towards the ceiling, keep those toes flexed, keep those knees nice and straight and just reach here. So we're opening through the side body, we're opening through the heart and we're opening through the backs of the legs. Breathe in and breathe out, breathe in, and out, last breath in, and exhale, go ahead and face the left leg, just round down for a moment, and then gently walk your way all the way back up, beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and make our way to the center. So if you need some props here, you can go ahead and do that, you can take your blanket, take your block, anything that's going to bring the ground a little bit closer to you because we will be holding this stretch for just a moment. So same thing, we're going to take our arms, we're going to walk them way far out in front of us. Keep that spine nice and straight. Keep your heart lifted and then just slowly drop the head down. So again, maybe you're resting your forehead on a block here or on your blanket, or maybe you're just gazing down. Wherever you are, all I ask is that you just relax your head and your shoulders and try to focus on your breath here. Close your eyes, breathe in, and breathe out. Lengthening through the spine, Breathe out, relax. Breathe. Good, last breath in. Exhale, let it go. On your next inhale, slowly walk your way all the way back up. Let's go ahead and take those legs and we'll swing them both all the way behind us. Actually, before we do that, let's take both feet 
in front of us and just shake it out for a moment. Bouncing those legs, beautiful. We are going to do a heart opening stretch. So go ahead and make your way onto your hands and your knees and then gently walk yourself up into that standing position on your knees. This is not the toe cracker, don't you worry. It looks uh, similar to get into it though. But we are going to move into camel pose. So go ahead and take your hands, imagine like you're sliding them into your jean pockets. So the hands are right on that lower back. Squeeze those elbows. So we're rolling the shoulders up, back and down so that the elbows can begin to squeeze together. Now all we're doing here is lifting the heart. Now, as you lift your heart, use those hands to gently press into that lower back to send the hips forward. Good, so we're gently li uh, lifting the heart and then just gently pressing the hips forward. Now, if you wanna get a little bit deeper into this pose, you can go ahead and reach for your heels. If you want those heels to be closer to you, then just tuck those toes and then reach down for them. If you want uh, even more stretch, go ahead and let those feet be nice and flat. And then the final variation of this is just to let the head drop back, close the eyes, breathe here, inhale, exhale, Inhale, exhale, last inhale, exhale, let it go, and then very slowly, just the way we got in, begin to walk yourself out of this pose. Head is the last thing to come up, and then have a seat on those heels. Let your hands come down onto your knees, close your eyes, and breathe here. Good. Camel is a huge heart opener. So just take a moment to recognize the experience of opening your heart in that way. It's so rare that we walk around with our heart so exposed and vulnerable. So just take a moment to recognize those feelings. Let's take a final breath in. And then exhale to let it go. Good. Slowly blink those eyes open and we'll take those feet around in front of us once more. This time we are going to take the soles of our feet and bring them together so that the knees are opened up. Now, if you want more of a stretch for the hips, let's bring those heels in a little bit closer to the center of the body. But if you want a little bit less of a stretch for those hips, then take those feet a little bit further away from you. However you decide to do this, it is your class. So do how you feel. Now make sure that you're sitting up nice and tall wherever you are. Take a moment to inhale, lift the heart, Exhale, just falling gently forward. Go ahead and just round down here. Let the head and neck completely relax, good. And again, if you want a, a block to bring the floor a little bit closer to you, you can go ahead and do so. You can keep the grip on the feet or maybe you wanna walk those arms out in front of you. Wherever you are, just breathe. Last breath in, last breath out. Inhale to slowly walk those hands all the way back up. You can move your props, keep your feet as they are, but we're going to gently make our way all the way down onto our backs. Good, Supta Baddha Konasana, beautiful. Now, if you'd like to, if you need some support for those knees, you can take a block on each side or maybe a block in a blanket. Again, just like having something for the knees to rest on. Now. Let's return back to 
how we started class with one hand on the belly, the other hand on the heart. Just close the eyes here and take a few moments to breathe. Feel those hips just gently opening up. Feel the belly rise on the inhale. Feel it fall on the exhale. Feel the ground supporting you. Feel how your body has supported you throughout the entire class. We'll take another breath in. And last breath out. Good. Take those hands. Use them to slowly close those knees. Bringing the knees together. Taking the feet nice and flat on the mat. Good. And then slowly, let's take the right hand on the outside of the left knee. We're going to gently guide those knees down to the right side. Take the left arm out and then go ahead and let your gaze look towards the left hand. Close the eyes and breathe here. Now, if you want more of an intense stretch, you can bring that left knee up just a little bit higher on the body. Good. Separating the knees a little bit more. But just know that this is just a gentle twist here. Again, if you want the uh, floor to be a little bit closer to you, you can always use a block or your blanket underneath of your knees. Take another inhale. Exhale, let it go. Good. On your next inhale, gently use your hand to guide those knees back to center. And then gently we'll take the left hand on the outside of the right leg. Go ahead and drop those knees to the left. If you need that block or blanket, go ahead and do so. Take the right arm out, let the gaze follow the right hand. Close the eyes and breathe here. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. Good. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. Last breath in. Last breath out. And then gently guide those knees back to center. Go ahead and grab hold of both knees. And then let's move into our final stretch, which will be happy baby. Take your hands, place them on the insides of the feet. The knees come down uh, to the armpits. Good. And try to get those that tailbone reaching down towards the mat. But if you want to take some movement here, you can rock the knees from side to side. You can straighten one leg, straighten the other. But when you're ready, and let's go ahead and drop those feet nice and long on the mat. Good. If that doesn't feel comfortable to have the legs extended, you can either take your blanket and place it underneath of the knees, or maybe you just want to bend the knees, placing your feet flat on your mat. Wherever you are, go ahead and take those hands, reach them down beside you, palms open towards the ceiling, close the eyes and breathe here. This is Shavasana, or final stillness. Relax the toes, relax the feet, relax the calf muscles, relax the knees, relax the thighs, relax the hip bones. Let the lower back sink nice and heavy towards the mat. Relax the middle back, the shoulders. Relax your arms. Relax the face. 
finger. Relax the back of the head and the neck. Relax the outer corners of the mouth. Relax the cheekbones. Relax the outer corners of the eyes. The skin on the forehead. Just be still and breathe. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. If you have more time and want to stay in Shavasana, then please stay. If not, let's take the right arm above the head. Gently roll to the right side, allowing the head to rest on the arm. And then slowly using your hands, begin to make your way up to a comfortable seated position. If you want to sit back on the blanket or the block, you can do so. Wherever you are, let's go ahead and rest the hands on the knees, palms open towards the ceiling, roll the shoulders up, back and down. Close the eyes and breathe here. Take a moment to notice how you feel now versus how you felt at the beginning of class and take a moment to thank yourself for showing up today and for doing this amazing work on the body. I thank you all so much for joining me. The light in me sees and honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and if you feel so inclined to donate, the link will be in the bio. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.